after grinding out a 29 to 23 victory in their triple overtime thriller at TCU, the Bears are now looking towards this Saturday's primetime matchup with the 10th ranked Oklahoma Sooners. People talk a lot about, you know, young people these days, they, you know, they quit as soon as it gets hard. No, they don't. No, just look at our guys, man. They two years ago, they didn't quit. They stuck through it all and I just thought our guys just kept battling. So, from that part of point of it, in the moment it can be stressful, but afterwards, I think you get to see some real character and toughness and competitiveness from your guys and the big 12's top ranked defense is sure to have their hands full with oklahoma's top ranked offense on saturday led by wide receiver cd lamb and heisman candidate jalen hurts the sooners offense is fifth in the nation in passing and second in scoring well he's uh an outstanding runner first and foremost you know and he can run both in terms of you know keeping plays alive they're first in the conference in passing and you know they do a lot of play action and he's able to move around and, and keep plays extended he can extend drives. They're outstanding both on offense and defense on third down. A lot of that comes from him. With ESPN's college game day setting up shop in Waco for the weekend, Coach Rule and the Bears are hoping to use the national spotlight to their advantage. College game day being here, we're excited for that. Uh, you know, my, my hope is obviously always for recruiting, that, that people all across the country uh, see that you know game day could have uh, could have gone anywhere. And they chose to come here and they chose to see this great Baylor Oklahoma game. I hope that for three hours, people all across the country can see why they should send their kids here. For Larry at TV News, I'm Nate Smith.